a highly anticipated press conference at the start of this week. Speaking during the two sessions, China's finance minister, Lo Wei said a larger fiscal deficit ratio this year will help prevent a slide in economic growth and further push forward structural reform. The government work report unveiled on Saturday said China has budgeted a 2016 deficit of 3 percent of GDP. Raising the budget deficit is in line with the demand for supply-side reform outlined in last year's Economic Work Conference. The budget is based on the principle of adequately raising the budget deficit rate so that the economy can maintain a mid to high growth rate. This aims at avoiding a slide of the economy and to focus on structural reforms. The fiscal deficit to GDP ratio was 2.4% in 2015. Lowe also said the level of non-performing loans at banks was expected to rise mildly and that the reform of the tax system was going more slowly than expected. The non-performing loans ratio at banks is rising. It is rising at a moderate pace. In addition, he said he believes the risk of local government debt is under control. A total of 5 trillion yuan of local government debt will come due this year, while the outstanding amount of such debt stood at 16 trillion yuan at the end of last year. NPLs are likely to increase this year due to the structural reforms underway in the country. Credit ratings agency Moody's last week downgraded the outlook for Chinese sovereign debt on concerns of the pace of economic reforms and dwindling foreign exchange reserves. Chinese regulators said the move was unjustified. The finance minister's press conference also aimed at easing international investors' concerns and reassuring the markets that China will continue to further implement monetary policy that is prudent as well as deepening financial market reforms, liberalizing interest rates and further reform stock and bond markets. How international global markets will react to his messages will remain to be seen during this trading week. Martina Fox, CCTV News, Beijing.